So you're thinking about getting new running shoes or maybe you've already gotten them and you're wondering about how do you actually break them in? Well, I'm Jesse Funk and on today's episode of Runner's High, we're gonna talk about breaking in shoes and some of the myths surrounding it. Let me address the first thing up front about breaking in shoes. You shouldn't have to. Um, that's something that we saw all the time when I was working in the shoe store. People would say, how long does this shoe need to break in or will it feel comfortable after I've broken it in? And the truth is that you really shouldn't have to break a shoe in. Now, admittedly, there is going to be a period of time where you, uh, you know, change kind of how the shoe feels when you're initially wearing it meaning there is kind of a break-in period, so to speak, but you shouldn't use the idea of a break-in period as the thing that makes a shoe comfortable to you. It should be comfortable from the get-go. So there is a change, but you should not have to break it in. So similarly, um, I just picked up these uh, maybe a couple weeks ago now, New Balance Beacon, switching from a Nike shoe that they no longer make. I'd been holding out on a stockpile for a couple of years. Um, and had to switch. I tried out a bunch of different shoes. Some of the shoes we thought would be comfortable for me really weren't, and that ended up being the most comfortable shoe for me from the get-go. And, you know, yes, there is some kind of diminishing with it as I run in it, but the, you know, the feel from the initial outset to now really hasn't changed because it's the right shoe for my foot based on size, shape, foam type, heel to toe drop, all those kind of things. Um, so, you know, you don't really have to worry about breaking in a shoe. That being said, if you get a new pair of shoes and it's something completely different like this, it may be a good idea to do a break in period, which is when you're slowly transitioning that new shoe in because the way the foam is, um, both in terms of resistance and the different setup in the shoe, assuming it's a different kind of shoe, may work your muscles differently in your feet and your legs um, compared to the old shoe. So what you'll do is take it on a short run. For me, that maybe is a half hour. My long runs are up to an hour and a half. So I would take it out for a half hour or maybe even on my bike run days, I do like a 15 minute run. Um, take it out for one of those and then you slowly start to add it in more days, replacing that old shoe. Optionally, if you do follow the two shoe rule or multiple shoe rule and you have multiple shoes, then you simply replace one of those pairs as you slide the new one in and you never have to worry about anything. So if you don't know anything about how to choose a shoe and you wanna know more about that, subscribe to the channel, hit that bottom button right there, and then up on the screen should be my video on how to choose the best running shoe for you. So I'll see you next time on the next episode of Runner's High.